located in the suburb of Port Melbourne, three kilometres from the city. It is the northern terminus of the Spirit of Tasmania from Devonport and the pier serves other cruise ships as well. But did you know there used to be a railway which went to Port Melbourne and Station Pier, the disused Port Melbourne Line? The Port Melbourne Line was the first significant railway in Australia and was opened by the Melbourne and Hobson's Bay Railway Company in September of 1854 to carry passengers arriving in Victoria at Station Pier and to alleviate the high cost of shipping goods using small vessels up the Yarra River to Melbourne. Work began on laying the railway in March of 1853 under the supervision of the company's engineering-in-chief, James Moore. Trains were ordered from the Robert Stephenson and Company of the United Kingdom, but the first train was locally built by Robertson, Martin and Smith because of shipping delays. Australia's first steam locomotive was built in 10 weeks and cost £2,700. The trip took 10 minutes. None of the later stations along the line have been built. On arriving at Station Pier, it was hailed with gun salutes by the warships HMS Electra and HMS Phantom. The line was taken over by the Victorian government in 1878 to become part of Victoria Railways. The line was electrified in the 20th century. Along with the St Kilda Line, the conversion of the line to light rail was first announced on the 13th of January 1983 by the Victorian government, with cost estimates at the time of around $6 million. The line was closed on the 10th of October in 1987, three months after the closure of the St Kilda Railway Line. The last service departed the station at 6.03pm, with freight services to Montague continuing until the 16th of October of the same year. The line reopened as part of the tram system on the 18th of December 1987. Route 109 now operates on the converted track. The section from South Bank Junction to Port Melbourne was converted to light rail, requiring the conversion from broad gauge used by the Melbourne Rail Network to standard gauge tram track as well as reducing the overhead voltage from 1500 volt DC to 600 volt DC required for the trams.
This is the Aubrey Falls Eatery. And now, in order to get to the sandwich break, we have to go to the brand new exit, which is the Yard River exit. And I've been through this exit um, in Broadway in 2019. Stop. The Albury Barn Eatery here. See the barn eatery. And now there is a comment which is uh, approaching now. to Yarra River and South Bank. Yeah, this is the way out to the Yarra River and South Bank. And this is the brand new exit of uh, the station. Oh, no, stop. And so now we, we exited Flinders Street Station, which is here. And now um, this is the Yarra River entrance. And you can see, um, this is the Evan Walker Bridge. And this is one of the bridges on the um, Yarra River. And this is actually the main bridge used to get to the Eureka Skydeck, um, uh, to the 88th floor, or 86th floor. And um, you can see that, let me show you the um, standing structure here. The standing bridge here was located right there. And so now we are currently approaching the Sandwich Bridge. And now this bridge opened in 1823. And the um, then when the St. Kilda Line opened, the bridge was a timber trestle bridge. And there's a map here, the Australian history uh, of the bridge. The refurbished railway bridge you're standing on was originally opened in 1888 to link the station pier in St Kilda and the Port Melbourne lines with Melbourne. It was closed to rail traffic in 1907, reopened in its current form in 2006. And um, let me show you the same bridge now. So we came from here, the Yarra River exit, which is here, and now we walked, you know, we're here, and we are going to walk across the Sandwich Bridge to Clarendon Street Junction, which is the tram stop to cater for the Port Melbourne and St. Kilda lines. And now the bridge goes this way. You can see the um, you can see the um, some glass panels which came from who came from, of people who came from many different countries from Zimbabwe to Afghanistan, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Western Africa, West the West Indies, the Caribbean, and all the other countries. Yes. Um, and now the, um, the we're 
continuing along the sandwich bridge and welcome you have to walk um, um, down on one way just because of the um, same old percentage and you can see all the glass panels here um, on And so now um, we are currently about like um, a halfway down the sandwich bridge and we started from the, uh, the glass panel. We are currently at right now is India and um, the glass panel continues continue all the way to Afghanistan. Great. because of the COVID restrictions. And so now one interesting thing about the Sandwich Bridge is that the Port Melbourne and St Kilda lines were actually parallel with each other. And um, and the, so the uh, Port Melbourne and St Kilda lines would come from Flinders Street, which is down there, and come down the Sandwich Bridge and go that way towards Clarendon Street, which is behind those um, South Bank buildings. And the bridge was um, refurbished between 2005 and 2006 by Nadim Karam. And um, the, um, the area here is really beautiful and I love this place. It's one of my favorite spots in the city and even in the South Bank, really. And beautiful. And now um, you can see um, a bit of the old remnants of the um, Sandwich Bridge, including buttress wall made of bricks. And um, you can see that um, I actually shot a photo of one of the old photos that used to look like and um, yeah, it, um, it's pretty cool and you, you can also view um, Flinders Street's famous facade over there and it's been repainted into its 1910 um, colours. And it's just beautiful in South Bank. Main thing, we've got so much seagulls around here and it's, it's very pretty. And that tram is going to West Coburg via William Street and Zoo. Yeah, it is. And you can see, look, um, a bus stop is here. It's right on the tram platform, and there's also the tram stop, like like a, a multi a multi transport platform, which is pretty interesting. Um, people would have never seen seen this like seen like seen it like this, but we do now. It's interesting.
transferred up with the 96 and 109 split, and um, the line used to come used to come from the Sandwich Bridge, come straight here, and go down that way towards Port Melbourne, which is pretty cool. And um, and now the trans turned left towards Southern Cross, and um, yeah, we'll go get a tram and take us to our next stop. So now we are still at Clarendon Street and this platform here is the Colonial Tram Car Restaurant Platform and it's used for restaurant trams um, uh, coming from maybe South Africa I think? Um, they're heading uh, across the sea um, with people inside a lunch or dinner and uh, so if any of you want to go on that want to go on that please visit the website tramswestland.com.au and book your ride. It's pretty interesting.
Ferrum Depot opened on the 8th of February in 1997 on the site of the former Montague shipping sheds, replacing South Melbourne Depot. When the Public Transport Corporation was privatised in August of 1999, South Bank Depot passed to Yarra Trams. The depot was extended in 2009 as part of the Ecos Tram project. The main yard has nine roads. Two of these are inside a maintenance shed. There are also two stabling roads for the three Colonial Tram Car Restaurant Cars, which also operates in the depot. Two entrances exist, East Gate and West Gate. As of December 2019, the depot had an allocation of 65 trams, 23A1 class, 3A2 class, 5C2 class, 7E1 class, 16E2 class, 3W6 class and 8W8 class. Servicing of the Z3 class trams from other depots is performed at South Bank. However, these trams are not used on South Bank routes. Montague Station opened in 1883, a number of years after the original opening of the line through it in 1854. The station mainly served workers at nearby factories, so under a new timetable in May of 1967, the station was closed on Sundays due to a lack of passengers. This was altered in June of 1969 so that two late night trains would stop there to cater for shift workers. In 1908, plans were first made to relocate the functions of the 1870s shipping shed at Spencer Street Station, roughly where platforms 9 and 10 are today, to a new location. A site to the north of the Port Melbourne line and on the Melbourne side of Montague Station was selected, with work commencing in 1913. A southerly deviation of the Port Melbourne line was made between Clarendon and Ingle Streets to make way for two five-ton travelling jib cranes and Montague Street was extended northward under the tracks to compensate for the removal of the level crossing gates at Ferrar Street. Track work was underway in 1915 but was delayed by World War I with the shipping shed not completed until late of 1921. Two goods lines ran to the north of the station, connecting the shipping shed yard with the main line near Ingle Street, where a signal box was located to control the points and signals. The signal box at Ingle Street was abolished in October of 1971 and replaced by a signal panel at Graham Street down the line. The shed operated in conjunction with the HM Customs Department for the handling of freight that arrived by sea at Port Melbourne's Princess Pier. This continued for five decades until containerization saw the end of conventional cargo handling at Port Melbourne. The last goods train to Montague Yard ran on the 16th of October in 1987 with a single Y-class diesel locomotive. In the early 1990s, construction of the Melbourne Exhibition Centre, also known as Jeff Shed, covered the area once occupied by the shipping sheds, while the construction of South Bank Tram Depot and the diversion of Normanby Road towards Whiteman Street have obliterated all traces of the shipping shed yard. And so now there is a bit of a fun fact about the Montague Street Bridge and it's, it's actually um, three metres um, of clearance and um, gantries were um, put over there in 2018 to um, allow safety for the um, bridge. And this bridge is similar to um, other bridges in the world, such as um, the, such as a bridge in Durham, North Carolina, and Saint Petersburg, Russia, and um, 
Bridge and also the Napier Street Bridge in Footscray. And if you can see this, there's South Bank Tram Depot. Originally where the shipping sheds were. And um, this is uh, Monte the the bridge the street is Montague Street and with um, Gladstone Street um, being a side street. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So now we are currently at Northport Station and this is the next station on the line and this station opened in 1859 
and the station serves the beautiful um, um, area of Northport as well as a football club and it's named VFA um, but was renamed VFL and uh, the, the games were established in 1896 and when in 1987 um, when the line was converted to a light rail the station buildings were demolished Now we are currently in a little park just um, at North Pole Station, which is over there. And now this spot is really quiet. It's currently weekend, weekend, the weekend, so it's currently uh, very peaceful. And there is also a level crossing here, and you can even see the city and the Uric Sky Deck. Now we are currently at Graham Street and we we just got off the tram and uh, this station um, has opened in 1888 as Graham Street but was renamed to just Graham in 1909 and um, a, um, a branch from the Princess Pier was opened in 1914 and Graham actually became a junction station and um, and by the 1960s um, traffic to the port had dropped due to changes in cargo handling and this this stop um, comprises of staggered platforms and um, 
and the city-bound platform when Graham Station was actually a train station was demolished in maybe the 1960s, 70s or 80s. And, um, you can, and also these station buildings were demolished as well in 1987. when the station was actually a train station you can actually see a, a mound is located here and that was where platform one was and the station and the other platform of trams heading towards um southern cross and box hill so right over there it comprised of staggered platforms with one over there and the other one which is what we are, we are on and also the princess pier Branch used to branch off. Um, we'll look at that in, a, in a, an, another time. I'll show that in another video. And Route 109 is also a night tram route for Friday and Saturday night. Since every Friday, Friday and Saturdays, the public transport of Victoria run every 24 hours. And so um, if it's including midnight. But, but Sundays and Thursdays, um, trains, trams and buses in Melbourne um, will stop running um, until 5 o'clock um, until five o'clock the next morning. And you can also see the bridge there. From that bridge, you can, also, you can even see the ocean um, if you're driving in your car. And there's a beautiful park over here. And... You can even see the city over there. Is the tram? The tram is coming. We're not taking that. Now next to Graham Street Station, there is um, a nice neighbourhood here, it's like a beautiful park um, and yeah, it's a great place to relax and 
great place to enjoy. And it also has a couple of old buildings as well. And um, it's pretty cool. It's really quiet here as well. single track. when the line first opened in 1854 and the station was, was, was located here and in 1987 the tram stop was located um, um, just um, in front of the station platform and building and the station building is actually heritage listed and it serves as as a cafe for Cafe Gumento and a medical centre known as Dr. Taz Cosmetic and Skin Clinics and the station also serves the station pier, which is um, over there. And I'll take you guys towards station pier. And now the Spirit of Tasmania is actually docked, so it will, it'll be great to see it. So now there is the Spirit of Tasmania and Station Pier is currently closed at the moment. Um, for now though, it'll open soon. And there's a map. And so now we are here and the tram stop we came from is here. And the station building is located here, somewhere here. And we came from uh, Graham Street, which is here. And the line goes all the way to Fox Hill, and this is Northport. And 
this is um, a bit of history of Port Melbourne. So, so you can stop the video and um, pl play it again when you finish when you finish reading. And there's the Spirit of Tasmania, the big boat. to um, Devonport and um, you can see that there's Princess Pier over there and I showed you the um, junction um, of where the Princess Pier line junction off of Graham Street and this area here is pretty cool and it's very interesting and the, um, a passenger station used to be here that was used from 1933 and a blue tank train was used here um, as large ships entered the pier from 1933 to 19, um, for six years, from 1933 to 1939, and 1950, the um, train station at Station Pier closed, um, cutting back the line as far as Beacon Cove, where the current tram stop is. And so now the pier consists um, of four ship bays, and one of them is located at the um, very end. Of of the industrial zone and where the Westgate bridges is where the web dock line is which I made a video on and so now that is the Port Melbourne line so thank you for watching this video um, I will see you all next time goodbye